Howdy, 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 my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing, darling? So let's get into your weekly tarot reading here today. See what's going on for you in July, darling Scorpio. All right. So if you enjoy this tarot reading, all right, your weekly tarot reading, Scorpio, I'll let you in on a secret. Top right hand corner right here, darling, and it'll be taken to your monthly as well. All right. And let me know in the comments below how my tarot readings resonate with you, Scorpio. All right. That's how I keep up with y'all is through the comments. And if you want a completely free way to support me today, Scorpio, all right, to give this video a like and subscribe, it helps me out more than you ever possibly could know all right now scorpio today we're going to be getting into three rows for you darling all right your first row we're going to be talking about your financial and career situation what's going on there and then in your second row we're going to be talking about your uh, social life all right scorpio we're going to be getting some insight uh today about some type of relationship in your life platonic darling romantic all right just your social life and then the third row scorpio is my personal favorite which is what we when we get into your predictions darling see what's going to be happening for you and also trying to get some clarity and understanding for what's going to be coming in your path and what's happening to you all right but most importantly here, Scorpio, let's start out with the back of the deck energy here with the Nine of Swords, all right? Oh, my darling Scorpio, this is where you've been having some sleepless nights coming in here. But it's like, I always kind of make a joke here where it's like sometimes it come off, I worry about coming off as gaslighty Scorpio because it's like when I see this Nine of uh, Swords, it's like the sleepless nights, the anxiety over situations that haven't fully played out yet. All right. I feel as if there's something that has just been weighing heavy on your mind. Maybe you've been waiting to hear about an answer. All right. When it comes to associated with your career row here. You could be having anxiety about how you're going to be paying the next bill coming in uh, for you. You could be anxious about how you're going to further elevate your career. Maybe for some of you guys, you don't know where to be going is what I see for some of you Scorpios. What is the next correct move business wise for you and a social dynamic here, uh, Scorpio? I feel as if for you, the nine of swords comes in as a sense of anxiety, all right? When it comes to a person here, all right? It gives me the sense for you where it's like some social connection, seemingly like in your your home life is doing you a disservice where it's just like when you talk to them they brought you either like bad news or they just brought the vibes down here i get like the sensation for you scorpio there's like some type of energy in your social circle that wants to keep you down or has this because i'm being shown claws now it's like this desire scorpio to uh, have you all to themselves but having it th their way perhaps they you know it's like that sense for some of you scorpios it's like they may not want to give you the love and gratitude that you deserve but they don't want you getting that attention from anyone else right they don't want you to feel more empowered than they are they don't want you to go higher uh, accomplish more than what they are doing right in predictions here for you scorpio just overall this week i feel like you're going to be getting a lot of this clarity all right you're going to be getting closure about situations that you had no idea about all right so uh, just uh calm down right now scorpio all right just know that your answers are coming all right trust and believe that darling all right so let's get into your rows now all right for your career and financial scorpio you have the nine of wands the lovers with the two of swords coming in here and remember that this nine of uh, swords is going to be being uh influencing all of this here scorpio all right in regards to your career i feel like there's almost like you have like this sense of obligation uh towards either somebody maybe you've been financially supporting somebody or perhaps you've been giving so much of your time and energy for other people scorpio and I get like this message of where it's like, now it's your turn, Scorpio. Now it's like, you have to release yourself of this obligation towards this past job, release yourself of this obligation towards people that you've always been helping, Scorpio, because I feel like now it's your turn, all right? You've been in this path for a while now with this two of swords that I feel like has just not been, you know, it's like you've been helping everybody else, but it's, oh, I would just keep on sitting here thinking, it's just like, when is it Scorpio's turn? When is it Scorpio's turn to be appreciated for what it is that they do for other people? But it's it's just like also uh i hear the words like reparations darling right i feel like for you scorpio a path is going to be showing up for you of where you're able to go in your own way but you have to release yourself of obligations of what what it is in your current work or financial situation uh so for some of you guys it's like realizing that you know you can no longer help out certain people because you have to put more time for yourself scorpio for others of you i get the sense of maybe you work with like you like your co-workers right or something like that but it's time for you to go out on your own some of you also are in some type of partnership scorpio and i feel like again it's time for you to uh 
it's your turn scorpio for you to get uh benefits here all right and so what i feel like is going to be happening a path is opening up for you but it's a path just for yourself this is a time where it's only going to be you that gets to eat scorpio all right so for many of you guys you can only take this new path by willing being so willing to let go of what it is that you're currently investing into all right in your second row, Scorpio, in regards to your social life, you have the Eight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles with the Knight of Wands coming in here. All right. Scorpio, I get this sense that there is somebody that has this desire in trying to just tame you here. All right. And so I just really want to give you like this heads up about just like certain connections trying to get in your head here. It's like you talk about these big plans that you want to do. Maybe you want to go out of the country. Like you, there's just stuff that I feel like you want to do that sounds right for you. And then I see like people that are in your personal space, like trying to put that seed of doubt trying to um dissuade you here i feel like there's somebody that is like doing subtle things because they don't want to speak their truth about the situation maybe they want to be doing what it is that you're doing maybe they want to be part of the journey of what it is that you are doing here all right i do feel like it stems from something probably for about 60 percent of you it stems from some type of envy i am going to be honest here because i keep on getting i keep on seeing like the flicking of the green snake tongue here all right i feel like six percent of it's envy but the other uh 40 here the reason why i don't feel like it's 100 percent envy it's because of this eight of swords right it's this sense of where it's like they want to be part of this as well all right i feel like for them seeing you grow scorpio scares them that's what's going on here it's just like you're going to be having further advancement in your career and your just your life in general whatever it is for you especially because you have the ten of pentacles which is absolutely fabulous scorpio to be having and i'll unpack more of this later on but it's like i see as you continue progressing in your life scorpio just people that are, you have been around are going to be reacting in ways that you wouldn't normally anticipate here because it's like for them it's like they want to be happy for you on some deep level but there's also just like some type of like i mean just very normal human reaction um when you care about something right sometimes you just don't want to let it go right even if it's for the best interest right so it's like i don't feel like it's anything to do with you necessarily scorpio it's one of those times where it's just like while what it is that they're doing is not healthy it doesn't come from a toxic place like they're not they're not maybe i'm giving the benefit of the doubt you let me know in the comments below scorpio do you think like this person here is like intentionally trying to um be toxic to you or is this just like something that like you can see in them and be like oh, okay like bless your heart right let me know because i don't want to speak for y'all's situation now in your predictions all air energy in your predictions here darling this is interesting you have the knight and three of swords here with the justice energy coming in here all right, this is where I get like the reparations here, Scorpio, because I feel like you have just been helping, again, all this air energy, by the way. I feel as if, Scorpio, you have been helping out so many other people. There has been this like sense of imbalance here where it's just like you've been giving and giving and giving with this impression that at some point in time you're going to get a return out of it. I don't feel like you ever got that return. And so for you, Scorpio, that return is going to be happening through a new path without involving the people that you invested into per, uh, prior, without uh, involving the people that um, said that they're going to ride with you, but they're not. You're going to be noticing certain uh, relationships relationships in your life starting to just naturally distance themselves from you all right you probably are going to have like a little bit of a period where you just have no one really to talk to uh openly scorpio and that is just because it's like considering what it is that you're going through the growth that's coming in for you not only do you have people that are just going to be triggered for either jealousy or it just like it scares them to see that you're moving on right you're growing without them and they just don't want you to like they just it scares them to realize that like you're going you're growing apart just naturally in that way right um you're dealing with people that just want to keep you down you deal with people that are wanting to control you scorpio and you're dealing with people that just take advantage of you take grant uh, take your time and energy for granted like they have no problems texting you scorpio when it is they want something but when it's in return when you just need like an emotional shoulder sometimes scorpio they're just not there right and so 
it's like this sense of where your spiritual team is just like, all right, Scorpio, we allowed this to happen in this way because we needed to show to you that there are certain people in your life that are just are not your ride or die like the way that you thought they were. Kind of, very, I get very much so parental energy here. Some of you guys might be connecting to your ancestors more or coming back to your, getting closer back to with your family members, uh, Scorpio. Some of you guys might be moving back home as well, I get. But I see this sense of where it's like a lesson for you where um, a big lesson for some of you Scorpios in that um, people that you swore were going to be your ride or die, you needed to go through certain experiences and realize that they're just going to take and never actually give to you, making sure that your plate is full, Scorpio. All right. I think you need to go through that experience. So you, then you can go back to the uh, lone wolf aspect until you go further down your path and then uh, attract someone that's higher vibrational. All right. So take that as you will, Scorpio. Let's start getting uh, some clarifiers on all these cards here. I really like overall what's going on here. I want to touch on firstly, this ten of pentacles being the heart of your spread actually scorpio because the ten of pentacles is the card of what you're going home to essentially is like it's what your heart is opening up to so it's like your home life is going to be stabilizing more right tens represents closures to cycles it's like you're now going to be able to breathe here it also represents abundance for you scorpio i feel like in the coming days for you like where it is that you reinvest your energy as long as it's for yourself all right for more selfish reasons because i there's been this uh, consistent push i've been noticing for some of the zodiac signs to start being a little bit more uh like make sure you're eating first before anyone else all right there is this sense for you scorpio that is just like when you finally accept that it's your turn and realize that it's your turn to just like get what you need that's when everything's going to open up for you here i really do see things stabilizing for you but there was a sense of like a huge chunk of your life or you yeah a huge chunk of your life i feel like was became like such a learning lesson but was also humbling for you but i feel like it just it validates so much for you and i feel like it just really helps you uh, uh set yourself up for success later down the future based off of how you evolved from dealing with the situation as disappointing as it may have been because i do see things ramping up for you in the coming days with that knight of swords and that ten of pentacles darling like things are like once you decide that it's your turn to eat scorpio honey you're it's you're gonna be eating darling all right so as i was saying let's clarify these rows now we're gonna clarify your career as a reminder, it's that two of swords, lovers, and nine of wands. Clarifying the two of swords. Speaking of tens, darling, you got the ten of cups that came in here. All right, ten of cups with this two of swords here. I feel like when it comes to your career, again, you have to chase after your own fulfillment here, uh, Scorpio. I feel like for you, a lot of distractions that came in for you were just due to who you committed your energy to. Again, I get the sense for you, change of environment, eight of wands with this lover's energy. All right. You will have uh, better partnerships that come in here, Scorpio. But I feel like the partnerships that come in are someone, it's like, it comes in with this deal of where you get a better deal all right and so i get for some of you scorpios changing careers changing jobs um to doing somewhere getting going somewhere else where you get paid more because i feel like wherever it is that you're currently investing into there's just so much sacrifice associated with this whereas if you went somewhere else um you'd be so well off and then the four swords uh, clarifying this nine of wands for you scorpio really letting me know as well darling that your period of like the survival mode is going to be coming to an end here all right you will not have to be struggling having to stress about the bills in the coming days page of swords energy in the back of the deck i do feel like for many of you scorpios this is going to be a calling again of just more independence doing your own personal projects instead of trying to include other people all right for some of you guys you might be finding yourself going back home or finding yourself in a situation for your living place of where you are able to make more time to take action on certain uh, desires that you've wanted to do certain and projects that might be profitable all right but there is like this message here of taking action on something that you've always had your mind on like i i don't know i feel like your career is very calculated it's like you know what you need to do it just might be a little bit spooky and like how much changes by what it is that you have to do 
All right, let's clarify your second row now. Clarifying your Eight of Swords is the Wheel of Fortune in your social aspect here. I do feel as if someone is going to be approaching you, Scorpio, and actually bringing closure to the uh, what it is that they've been wanting to say. You might have the you and been sensing it for a while because of this King of Wands energy. Like you've been sensing for a while now that either someone has been watching you as you just been doing your thing and been wanting to say something, um, but they haven't here. But I feel like you definitely are going to get confirmation uh, for that in the coming days. Definitely. Definitely. Clarifying the Ten of Pentacles is the Queen of Wands here. I feel like for many of you, uh, Scorpio, socially for you, if you're trying to bring forth new connections, it's time for you to leave the nest here. It's time for you to look in different places of how you get connections. Finding people that align more with your personality of the Queen of Wands, all right? Queen of Wands is all about the personal passion projects as well. When it's complementing that Ten of Pentacles, as well as a side note, Scorpio, that is a direct sign of where the Queen of Wands journey ends with the abundance there so by the queen of wands honoring that initial idea that initial passion she gets the beautiful results of the ten of pentacles all right and then also noticing all this wand energy here and then knight of pentacles uh knight of wands being clarified by the five of pentacles here letting me know Scorpio, when it comes to this situation here, the biggest thing that you, the biggest thing that can defeat you currently is like allowing your personal flame to be dimmed here. All right. I feel like my Scorpios, this is a time for you to really celebrate your existence, celebrate your eccentric personality more. All right. Celebrate your individual uh, individuality. All right. I feel like it's due to past connections that made you in your head about how you, how people perceive you. I feel like that's where the problem is. It's like people that you used to surround yourself with Scorpio either they have instilled something in your head that tells you that people just wouldn't find you enjoyable or what have you when it's just like that's the direct opposite the more authentic you are to yourself the more unapologetically silly you are and what have you the more that you uh, put down your guard that's how you're going to attract people that actually sustain you rather than attracting people that only find ways that take advantage of you all right just to be very blunt there darling so let's clarify your third and final row here uh, Scorpio with that three and knight of swords and then that justice energy. You have the hanged man coming in here. Change of perspective is necessary. This is what I was talking about for you, Scorpio, in that I do feel as if some chunk of your life is about to be taking a 180 here, but I feel like you are prepared for this. I feel like for you, this is something that you have been anticipating for a long time. It's something that's for some of you, Scorpios, haven't been wanting to admit to yourself, but you've known in the back of your head that at some point in time, this is going to be happening. The ball was going to be dropping for you, Scorpio. All right. Right? So what I want to be telling you is just to really prepare yourself at this time because uh, big changes are coming here for you. Big changes are coming for those that are um, being willing to, I mean, cherry energy, it's coming in quick, darling. Hello? Hello? This is really a time for my Scorpios, Seven of Swords here. Yeah. This is a time for my Scorpios to um, embrace the changes here. This is really a time for you to embrace the chaotic energy. All right, uh, Scorpio. And I feel like for you guys, July is going to end with a bang. And I'll just leave it like that for you guys. I mean that in the best of ways here, even because the world card coming in here in the back of the deck to close out this tarot reading for you, Scorpio, the world card is the final card, of the major arcana. You guys are closing off on a big chapter here. Scorpio, you guys are closing off on a very big chapter here, and I'm really excited about what's going to be happening next to you here. Scorpio, the world card represents this sense of like finally coming into completion with something. All right. And I feel like with this completion, it gives you the sense of freedom. <clears throat> I There's something I just... <sighs> I feel like for you, Scorpio, it's like you're closing such a just major chapter. I don't know. Like, I feel like you might, some of you might be closing off on a long-term friendship or relationship in your life, walking away from it finally, because you've invested so much into it or a job that you've been invested or school. It's something that you've invested so much time and energy and emotion into walking away from it. And it's almost like this surreal manic feeling where it's just like, holy crap, like all these years just now become irrelevant. But I feel like it's the most freeing thing that you could ever ask for, uh, Scorpio. I feel like this is such a beautiful uh, story that's going to be happening for you in the coming days. I'm really excited. So 
Scorpio, that's the weekly tarot reading that I have for you, darling. Hopefully you found some cards that did resonate with you. Let me know in the comments below and give this video a like and subscribe. It's completely free to do, Scorpio. If you want to book a private reading with me, my website is linked down below, Scorpio, simply Velcro dot com darling next to my social medias tiktok and instagram if you want to connect with me on a more intimate level or just simply velka darling all right uh but until next time scorpio be sure to check out your uh, uh um <laughs> your monthly tarot reading all right in the top right corner and i'll connect with you at a later point in time scorpio bye darling